and thank you for watching. This is Brown Sugar coming to you with another video. I know it's been a while since I've done a video, but I had some really good two-strand twist out results over the past couple of days, so I'm doing this video to take them out and to show you the results. And I hope that I have really good results today because I'm also going to an event today, going to the leather and actual kinky hair event here in Atlanta, so I hope I'm going to have a really good hair day. So, right now I'm just going to spritz some of this icy Fantasia oil on my hair. I really love the way it smells. This is Icy Fantasia of PM Nighttime Treatment. Um, usually I spray it on my hair at night and then I put my bonnet on and I let it, um, I let it, you know, work its magic overnight. And also spray some afterwards in the morning because it works really well. So to achieve this look, um, I'll do another video when I talk about my mini twist. You know how I had a mini twist for, kept them in here for 10 days and I took them out. And then I put my hair about 15 and 20 of these medium size. Um, I'll try to rotate so you can see. And then I'll turn this way. I don't know if you can really see that, but there's a lot of these in here. About 15 or 20. And so I put my hair in sections and I uh, applied a nice amount of this Cantu Shea Butter Leave-In Repair Cream. I love the way it works. It works really good because it really gives my hair nice sheen as well as uh, my hair was not frizzy. So that's what I used. And I'm also going to, ooh, this is pretty tight, put some of this coconut oil on my fingers. It's, um, it's kind of a, a fatty oil, but um, when it gets kind of warm it melts, so it's kind of warm in here right now. So I'll just put some of this on my fingers. And I'll show you me taking a few of them down, and then I'll come back with some results. So, cut my fingers, and then I'm just undoing the sections. Okay? So, and I start, I used to start from the bottom on my way up, but I found that I get better results if I sort of twist it around and then unravel from the top. So, that's what I'm doing. I think I have some bobby pins in here to hold it down so I won't be sticking up. So, then I will show you this side. It's not oil on my fingers. And also to achieve the look that I'm going for today, you're also going to need about three, um, about three bobby pins as well. Or, and also if you want like a flower or something to, to decorate. I hope I'm not taking too long because I'm trying to keep the video under 10 minutes and I'm going to be leaving really soon. So, um... So yeah, you get the drift, and I'm about to pause this and come back when I'm fluffing it out, okay? Alright, so now I'm about to just separate these some um, a little more. I'm trying to get close so you can see also, so I can see in the mirror as well. Um, put some more oil on my fingers. So much a little bit more coconut oil because it's. I like it because to me it doesn't really smell like anything because I don't want to have like all these fragrances like mixing in together. Um, well, I guess it's okay. It's not like it was the other day. The other day it was like really really cute, but it's pretty cool. I'm just separating it. See, this is from the mini twist out. They were really small, so. Okay. So. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh. Oh. 
Now I'm also about to use some bobby pins because I am going to roll back two sections of my hair on my left side, which is your right, is over here. So I'm about to do that. Um, the rest of it's not bad though. <sighs> not too bad. Or, wait, I still feel a section. It's too big. So yeah, just go through your hair and just pull apart little sections gently. Like you'll feel it. You know, you don't just want like big old clumpy areas in the back of your head. So just play with that. And right now, so I'm gonna grab a couple bobby pins. This is um I think these are by Conair. You can get the Conair Goodie brand. Um that has the, the coated tips right there. So just kind of grabbing a section of hair from the front corner of my hair until about the end of the ear. Okay. And it's probably about an inch wide or so. And it doesn't have to be neat, neat. I'm just making sure I grab sections. So it's actually a really good section. Okay. And I'll get a little clip to keep it out of the way. Usually I use the silver one, but I don't have it right now. So I'm just going to take some hair, okay, and just going to kind of roll it up and give you a twisting, like a flat roll twist up like that. Okay, grab your bobby pin, I'm trying to separate it without putting it in my mouth, separate it, okay, and just secure it, push it up and in towards the center, so it stays like that, okay, I'm also going to do this other section the same way. I'm just grabbing a section of hair, trying to do it so you can see, okay, and just do the same thing, just grab it, a big chunk, and hold it, and just begin to roll it up towards the center, the opposite direction. So I'm rolling it up and towards the right, and try to get it as tight as you can, and grab your bobby pin with the coated tip. Okay, and then this should end it. Shoot, I messed up. And I'm trying to rush too, so it's probably not making it better. Just put it in like that, and just push it up. Where's this in? Okay, so there we go. I do it like that because the left side of my hair is shorter than the right side, so just to sort of get it. So it won't look as uneven. I do that. And when I did my hair in my mini twist, I had put some flat twists up front. And so that's just what that is. And I'm just sort of leaving it like that. So just continue to play with it and fluff with it. And I'm liking it right now. So, oh, this is kind of wild over here. Uh, So that is pretty much how you take out your twist, your medium sized twist for your twist out. And I think this looks really good because it looks like a really good curl definition. And it's not. Didn't use any gel. I did not use any gel to create my mini twist. I only use my shea butter mix, which is shea, which is um, shea butter whipped with vegetable glycerin and coconut oil and I just used that and I did it on um, on dry stretched and banded hair and if you just do a search for um, banding you'll see what I'm talking about but maybe I'll do a video next time I stretch my hair so now I think I'll probably put a flower or something because I don't like the way this front section looks I don't like it so I'm going to grab another bobby pin, okay, and I'm just going to secure it like that, just get it out the way, and grab a flower, I wish I had a pink flower, I do, but it's too
too bright. So maybe I'll use this one. Maybe I'll use this one. It's not bad. So there you have it. Um, I think I'm gonna play with it a little bit more, but you pretty much get what I am getting at. So I'll just rotate it to show it to you. And I'll also take some pictures later. So Ooh, I get too close, sorry, but Alright, so there you go. Have a great day and come back and I'll show you some more videos about my staple products that I use and next time I do a mini twist I will show you how I achieve that, okay? Thank you, have a great day. Bye.